Is this the charger you was crying about? You can have that shit. I'm gonna go buy myself another one. You can't. I'm gonna take that one too. And just like you got your ass beat over that one, you'll get your ass beat over the new one. For some odd reason, you and Savan both think that y'all have whooped my ass. And I'm still trying to find the whoop because it has not made it to my ass. How are you gonna keep my name out your mouth? Savan, Savan, Savan. What happens next? I'll deal with you later. No, deal with me now. Brian, did you tell mama that Kenya was coming down here? Cause the only person I told that to was you. It was either that or my phone and I needed my phone. You would have did the same thing. And you would have squared up with me if I did. So get up and catch this fair one. It actually won't be a fair one because I, I want to get active with him too. Y'all are not about to jump me. Y'all both can line it up and take turns catching these hands. Down. Curry, sit your bitch ass down. You over here crying about a charger. I got a real reason to fight. Come on, don't be telling me what to sit. Sit your bitch ass down. Bitch, watch your motherfucking bitch ass. Hello? Ho, the things that you have lied about? You testified against your own mother to me? Oh, you shot a man, Tammy. How did you get this number? And what phone are you using in prison? Every time you piss one of your kids off, they gonna expose your shit. Savon gave me your number. Are you using a free road phone? Let me call up there and talk to one of them correctional officers and tell them to do a cell search on you. Tamika, you gonna let your mama sit in jail? Okay, wait till I get that address. What you gonna do from prison, Tammy? Send me a letter, it'll go right in the trash. I'ma send your ass a dead rat because that's what you are. Remember what happened to Versace when she snitched on me? What happened? while you're being a confessional gangster on this state phone. Go ahead and incriminate yourself even more. Tell me what happened to Versace. Oh, you bitch. Tammy, give it up. You are right where you need to be. Can't shit hold me, Tamika. Not even this prison. I'm big Tammy. And I'ma get out this bitch. Wait, did you just tell me that you're planning to escape? I would not be an accomplice to this. I'm about to call up there and tell them that you are planning to escape so they can throw your ass and say, oh, you Bitch. You convict. I hope you know your brothers and sisters hate you for what you did to me. Mm-hmm. When is the last time the COs did a security check? I need them to know that one of their inmates has possession of contraband. <laughs> they do security checks every 30 minutes. And how long has it been since the last one? 29 minutes. Stay on the phone with me a little while longer, mama. Tamika, what could you possibly have to say to me after what you did to me, hmm? Tell me, I'm listening. Wait. You bitch. You trying to set me up so when they pass by and do their security check, they see me on the phone. If and when you get out, Tammy, I hope that you start acting like the senior citizen that you are. At your deteriorating age, you should not be out here shooting people. Hey, mate! Is that a cell phone? Down on my luck. Bitch. Back against the wind. Wait till I get out. Try to make it No way to win Give me that shit and put your hands behind your back Come get it from me You wanna go car shopping with me today? What kind of car you trying to get? Mm, a Range Rover Why does everybody want a Range Rover? The value of the car is not even worth the price of the car I was also considering a BMW <laughs> Not worth it The maintenance on that car costs more than the car itself I might just get a Dodge Charger. Okay, Mr. 392, Mr. Scat Pat, be original. Stop getting cars that everybody else has. Hmm. So I should get a car like you? Oh wait, you don't have a car. So I just got an approval for the house I applied for. Are you renting or buying? Renting. Bro, what? What's the point of even announcing that you got approved? Like, renting a house is not an accomplishment. Talk to me when you're about to close on your house. That's crazy because I just helped you move into your one-bedroom apartment that you're renting. 
Okay, I have an apartment. I'm not ready to buy a house. Neither am I. Guess who just got promoted at work? That's crazy. How is that crazy? Because the job is never that serious to go and get promoted. Like, But weren't you talking about promoting when we first started? I want better for myself. I'm not about to stay at this job. There are better jobs out there. Like, If you want to stay here and make a career out of this job, be my guest. And what department are you about to be over? Because you're not about to be coming over there telling me what to do. Wow, you want to got the 15 Pro Max? <sniffs> Trying to keep up with everybody else, I see. I'm not upgrading. I like my phone. My phone works just fine. And I got the 12 Pro Max. Great. I'm glad you like your 12. Like the cameras are still the same. It's Everything is still the same, bro. It's the same phone. You basically want to just pay for the title. That's it. Nothing has changed. If you're not eligible for an upgrade or can't afford to upgrade, just say that. You coming to my graduation? Graduation? Oh, yeah. I forgot you're in college. Yeah, it's a major accomplishment. I'm good with my high school diploma. Like, what's the point of wasting another four years in a classroom when I can literally get the same type of job you're going to get without a degree? Mm, I don't think you can be a lawyer with just your high school diploma. And on second thought, don't even come. Oh my God, get out your feelings. All you're getting is a little fancy diploma. I'll be at your little graduation. So when I got a 392, I saw it on Facebook. And I noticed you didn't like the post or comment, congratulations. Do you know how many posts pop up on my feed? How much are your payments? $9.75. Wow, congratulations to half your paycheck going to a car every month. <laughs> $9.75? That's basically my rent. You are such a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm just smart with my money. I'm not about to go get a car that's the same amount as my rent every month. You can't even afford the car, let alone test drive the car. Yo, why did you back the car up like that? And why did you park like that? I swear you can't drive. Critiquing me from the passenger seat when you have never sat in the driver's seat is insane. Hey, auntie. I was wondering if it was possible to share a room with one of the boys. Is there something wrong with the couch upstairs? Oh, it's, it's just slightly uncomfortable, you know, hurts my back sometimes. But auntie, I'm very much grateful and I don't mean to complain. No, it's fine. I know that couch can be quite uncomfortable. Kyrie still has his bunk beds in his room, so I'm sure he won't mind. Well, I thought that maybe me and Brian can share a room because we are the same age. But then again, I don't want to mess up what he has going on every other night. What does he have going on every night? Oh, his boyfriend? He sneaks in every other night. What fucking boyfriend? Oh, auntie, I don't think I was supposed to tell you. I'm sorry. But please don't tell him I told you. That'll just make him hate me more. You know what? I think you and Brian sharing a room is a great idea. Brian! Mama, why do you be yelling? It is so unnecessary. You are not outside. You and Genesis will be sharing a room. The hell we are! Who the fuck are you talking to like that, Brian? I would knock your head off your shoulders! <sighs> <laughs> Where is he gonna sleep, mama? Y'all are cousins, so you will share the bed. Uh, Kyrie has a bunk bed. It would make more sense for him to sleep in his room. I'm about to get rid of Kyrie's bunk bed and buy him a single bed. Now, like I said, you and Genesis will be sharing a room. Was there anything else? I don't know. Was there? I don't know. You tell me. You called me down here. Ryan, don't get fucked up. Don't get fucked up. Go upstairs and make space for your new roommate. <sighs> okay, mama. From now on, you will be my eyes and my ears. Yes, ma'am.
Now I could have sworn I locked my doors. Brian let us in. Of course he did. Now let yourselves out. Mika. Genesis, go upstairs for a minute. Yes, ma'am. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Auntie. Why are y'all here? Gabriella's death was devastating. I haven't had time to process it, you know? It happened so fast and she wasn't my blood sister, but she was my sister. Like I said, everything happened so fast and I just found out that, you know, she made you Genesis's legal guardian. So my question is, how long do you plan on keeping him? And what all does she put you in charge of? Why do you care? Your stepdaughter, you know, the one that just died and you didn't come to her funeral. She told me that if anything happened to her, that he was mine. So I'm keeping him forever. <sighs> That's fine. I don't care about all that. Where's the money she left for him? Mama, that is not why we are here. <laughs> See, I'm not stupid. I knew that you or somebody else is going to come after that money. That money is in an account that only Genesis will have access to when he turns 18. Oh, I can tell that pissed you off. You weren't expecting that. <laughs> How's your cancer? She was my damn stepdaughter, so I'm gonna need some of that damn money. Tammy, Gabriella hasn't liked you since her father, your eighth husband, died of natural causes, which is why she didn't leave Genesis with you and left him with me, because she didn't trust your trifling ass to do the right thing with that money. Tamika, you out of all people should know I don't play by my money. Now that's $300,000 that you better go get for me. Or what? Damn it, Tamika, don't make me do something that I'm going to regret. Do what you gotta do, Tammy, but calm down. Don't upset that cancer. Uh, both of you, please stop. I need that money. You know what? I'm starting to wonder if anybody has actually asked you this, but what type of cancer do you have? A daughter. Named Tamika. Oh, oh, well, you're going to have it a long time because there is no amount of chemo in the world that can get rid of me. Tamika, I'll take Genesis off your hands. Tanya, shut up. And what are you even doing here? What you going to do with a 17-year-old boy? I already have one, so I know what I'm doing. Genesis is fine and he ain't going nowhere. Thank you. Let me have him. Why? What you going to do with him? Tell me why. Exactly. Shut up. Give me my child. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> what in the Talapuri is going on? You remember when you didn't see me for nine months? I wasn't ready to be a mother. And Gabriella, she couldn't get pregnant. She got a family, husband. So I let her have him. Hmm. Well, you made the right choice, giving him up because you clearly are not fit to be anyone's mother. And Genesis is 17. So 17 years ago when you had him, that was around the time that you slept with my ex-husband. Tanya, if I found out that you and my ex-husband have a child together, you will cease to exist. I just want my son. You ain't getting a damn thing. You will have to take me to court. And even then, you don't stand a chance, bitch. And you, you ain't getting no damn money. It ain't up to you. Oh, but it is. I'm his legal guardian. And I think both of you are starting to forget that. Don't shit move with him unless I say so. I ain't got to do shit. He's mine. Mine. Well, I'm his mother. Spell it. Go spell it. 
mother, M-O-T-H-O-R. <clears throat> Get out. Tamika, this isn't over. I'm coming for my child. Spell it. Child. C-H-I-L-E-D. Oh, this is great. I want you to act just like this in court. Dumb. Tell you bring your dumb ass. Tamika, this isn't over. Y'all should really call before y'all come next time. Good morning. Mm, it's really not. Have you decided what school me and Kyrie are going to? You know what, Brian? It is a new year, and I am not dealing with the same nasty-ass attitude you gave me last year. Find you a new and better one. Mama, you moved us away from all our family and friends, and you expect me to have a great attitude about that? I did that for us. You did that for you after finding out that Travis was really gay, Grandma Tammy went to jail, all your siblings testified for her, and you testified against her. Now everyone hates you. That has nothing to do with us. Hmm. Well, I am really sorry you feel that way. Everything I do is for my kids, whether you accept it or not. Look around you, Brian. Do you know how many kids wish they could live like you? Being stripped away from everything that I love? <laughs> they can have that. How many boys have I chased out of my house after you snuck them in? How many antibiotics have you taken because you think you're in love and don't want to use condoms? You are 17 years old, living under my supervision, acting like a grown ass man, and you are not. Yes, I stripped you away from everything that was bad for you and gave you a fresh start. And I do not apologize for it. Can I have my phone back? No, the fuck you cannot because you are not about to call my family and tell them where we're at. Mama, I'm not. I just want to be able to talk to my friends. I don't trust you. Savannah Kyrie got into a fight yesterday after you left the kitchen. That's why you haven't seen them all day. Their faces are, excuse my language, but fucked up. I'll be your personal snitch again if you give me back my phone. You will also stop giving me a hard time about us moving here. Fine. I'm not convinced. I was saving this for a rainy day, but I need my phone. Savon gave his baby mama Kenya our location, and he plans on flying her here so that she would be forced to let her live with us. I just thought you should know. Find out everything you know and report back to me. Will do. All right, boys, I got y'all's report cards. Um, who's first? Brian. All A's as expected. Let's read some of the teacher's comments. Mrs. Jackson, you are raising one intelligent human being. Brian is smart, brilliant, and his future looks promising. I don't have any students who have a four-year scholarship to Harvard in my class, so I am honored to have Brian in my class. You know, I have always been proud to be your mama. Auntie. I think it should be getting my report cards now. I did switch over to my guardian. Let's see. Oh, yep, Genesis. Here we go. All A's and one B. Mm -mm, how disappointing. Genesis, this class you have a B in. Talk to me about it. It's a college class. They only offer it to students who've passed their stellar exam during their sophomore year in high school. I believe Brian took the same exam, but what were your test results again? It's a college class. Me and 10 other students didn't pass. It was an exam, not a class. And how unfortunate that you failed that exam. 
I pass for flying colors though. Aunt Tamika, that is a very challenging class. To have anything under a C could get you removed. So for me to have a B in that type of class, the same type of class that they offer at schools like Harvard is amazing. Would you mind reading my teacher's comments on Tamika? Mrs. Jackson, Genesis is a very well-educated student of mine who I highly recommend it to five major colleges due to his extremely high test scores in my class. Most students who take my class average a C or C minus. Genesis has maintained a B for the past semester, making his score the highest in my class. He is definitely going places. Hey, that's my nephew. I could have passed that class. And yet you did not. I still have a four-year scholarship to a college that doesn't even know you exist. And yet all my teachers recommended me to not just Harvard, but four other top colleges in the United States. Mm -hmm. Great. Did you get a phone call back? Did you get a letter in the mail? Is it official? I have not yet, but I will. This conversation has expired. Mom, can you read my little brother's report card? Boys. You both are doing great in school. Keep up the good work. All right, Kyrie. There are no scores. It, there's a comment though. It says, Mrs. Jackson, Kyrie's scores were so low that I was embarrassed to email them to you. Please stop by my office so we can further discuss. Kyrie, what the fuck is the issue? Why, why are you cussing at me? School is not for me. I want to drop out. So damn bad. What do you need from me as a mother to get you back on track? Because 20 parent-teacher conferences in one damn year is insane. So withdraw me. You don't like seeing these teachers? Neither do I. Where did I go wrong with you? Find out where grandma went wrong with you, and then you'll find out where you went wrong with me. You know what it is? I don't beat your ass enough. That's what it is. You want to be like your older brother? You want to be a high school dropout? One kid, no job, no pot to piss in. Yes, mama, I want to be just like Savon. How about you homeschool me? I'm tired, mama. I don't want to be in school. I hate everyone there. You are not there for everybody, Kyrie. You are there to get your damn high school diploma. We have got to figure something out because I am tired. That is enough. You are in your sophomore year in high school and you have not progressed. Remove me from school. That is out of the question. Well, then you're going to continue to stress about my performance in school because it's about to get worse. Jesus, I know I have not lost control of my child. No, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what, when Travis gets home, me and him are going to discuss what we're going to do with you. Because that is enough. Ma, Travis is a damn kid himself. And you're old enough to be his mama. So don't be going to talk to one of your other kids about me. Mama, how long is Genesis staying with us? Brian, I am actually in the process of becoming Genesis's legal guardian, so he will be here for a while. I need to make a phone call. Is there a problem? Is it? I'm asking you. Just stay the fuck out of my way or you'll end up like the last cousin that stayed here. Brian, I know you're used to thinking you're the smartest grandchild out of all of us. That must have been hard for you to admit. While I'm in your house, I'm going to make sure I humble you every chance I get. Spell humble. How about you look deep within yourself and find it first before you ask somebody how to spell it? You know what I can find deep down inside me? My parents, who are very much still alive and breathing. And that was just a small taste of how disrespectful I can get. So during the duration of your stay, watch your fucking mouth. And don't you ever try to compete with me in front of my mom. Kyrie, get your shit together. Mind your motherfucking business. Do you think I'm a joke? 
No one said that. Did I ask for you to speak? You asked a question, Mama. In your mind, it sounds like a question. In my mind, I'm still speaking and I am not ready for you to speak. So how do I know if it's a question or not? Keep talking, Brian, and I'm gonna hit Savon. Mama, you do realize I'm 19 now. You're right, you're right, you're 19. So I'll be squaring up with you and tap dancing on your brother's asses. I didn't drink your Stella Rosa. I do not recall asking who drunk it, I just know that it's gone. That's a problem for me. Y'all have five seconds to tell me who's going first. And if no one answers, I'll just start from oldest to last. Okay. One, two, five. Now try again, because I said I didn't drink it. Like, you... Savon, you are very fast. But I wonder how quickly you can stop these. Greg, it was Greg. Why are you yelling? Did you, did you drink my Stella? I ain't drink no damn Stella. <laughs> Baby, I'll buy you some more. <clears throat> One of these days, Savon, I'm going to beat your ass. You think because you're 19 that mama can't touch you. But I can. Gregory, you go in my Stella again without my permission. And I'm going to call your fifth baby mama and give her your social security number. Now, you said you were going to buy me some? Yes. With what fucking money? Go upstairs and get my purse. Uh, baby, what if they out of the flavor you like? Then I would start worrying about what LaTanya is going to do with your social security number. Look, baby. baby I want my damn Stella tonight. Take the boys with you. They can be very helpful. All right, boys, I got y'all support cards. Um, who's first? Brian, all ace as expected. Let's read some of the teacher's comments. Mrs. Jackson, you are raising one intelligent human being. Brian is smart, brilliant, and his future looks promising. I don't have any students who have a four-year scholarship to Harvard in my class, so I am honored to have Brian in my class. You know, I have always been proud to be your mama. Auntie, I think it should be getting my report cards now. I did switch over to my guardian. Let's see. Oh, yep, Genesis. Here we go. All A's and one B. Mm -mm, how disappointing. Genesis, this class you have a B in. Talk to me about it. It's a college class. They only offer it to students who've passed their stellar exam during their sophomore year in high school. I believe Brian took the same exam, but what were your test results again? It's a college class. Me and 10 other students didn't pass. It was an exam, not a class. And how unfortunate that you failed that exam. I passed with flying colors though. Aunt Tamika, that is a very challenging class. To have anything under a C, could get you removed. So for me to have a B in that type of class, the same type of class that they offer at schools like Harvard, is amazing. 
Would you mind reading my teacher's comments on Tamika? Mrs. Jackson, Genesis is a very well-educated student of mine who I highly recommend it to five major colleges due to his extremely high test scores in my class. Most students who take my class average a C or C minus. Genesis has maintained a B for the past semester, making his score the highest in my class. He is definitely going places. Hey, that's my nephew. I could have passed that class. And yet you did not. I still have a four-year scholarship to a college that doesn't even know you exist. And yet all my teachers recommended me to not just Harvard, but four other top colleges in the United States. Mm -hmm. Great. Did you get a phone call back? Did you get a letter in the mail? Is it official? I have not yet, but I will. This conversation has expired. Mom, can you read my little brother's report card? Boys, you both are doing great in school. Keep up the good work. All right, Kyrie, there are no scores. It, there's a comment though, it says, Mrs. Jackson, Kyrie's scores were so low that I was embarrassed to email them to you. Please stop by my office so we can further discuss. Kyrie, what the fuck is the issue? Why, why are you cussing at me? School is not for me, I wanna drop out. So damn bad. What do you need from me as a mother to get you back on track? Because 20 parent-teacher conferences in one damn year is insane. So withdraw me. You don't like seeing these teachers? Neither do I. Where did I go wrong with you? Find out where grandma went wrong with you, and then you'll find out where you went wrong with me. You know what it is? I don't beat your ass enough. That's what it is. You want to be like your older brother? You want to be a high school dropout? One kid, no job, no pot to piss in? Yes, mama, I want to be just like Savon. How about you homeschool me? I'm tired, mama. I don't want to be in school. I hate everyone there. You are not there for everybody, Kyrie. You are there to get your damn high school diploma. We have got to figure something out because I am tired. That is enough. You are in your sophomore year in high school and you have not progressed. Remove me from school. That is out of the question. Well, then you're going to continue to stress about my performance in school because it's about to get worse. Jesus, I know I have not lost control of my child. No, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what, when Travis gets home, me and him are going to discuss what we're going to do with you. Because that is enough. Ma, Travis is a damn kid himself. And you're old enough to be his mama. So don't be going to talk to one of your other kids about me. Mama, how long is Genesis staying with us? Brian, I am actually in the process of becoming Genesis's legal guardian, so he will be here for a while. I need to make a phone call. Is there a problem? Is it? I'm asking you. Just stay the fuck out of my way or you'll end up like the last cousin that stayed here. Brian, I know you're used to thinking you're the smartest grandchild out of all of us. That must have been hard for you to admit. While I'm in your house, I'm going to make sure I humble you every chance I get. Spell humble. How about you look deep within yourself and find it first before you ask somebody how to spell it? You know what I can find deep down inside me? My parents, who are very much still alive and breathing. And that was just a small taste of how disrespectful I can get. So during the duration of your stay, watch your fucking mouth. And don't you ever try to compete with me in front of my mom. Kyrie, get your shit together. Mind your motherfucking business. Now that we're all gathered here today, I have some news I'd like to share. Well, before you do that, Mama, we all would just like to apologize to you. Who is we? Mama, we have been so selfish. 
And we completely forgot that you went through so much to keep a roof over our heads. Did she? You have done the best you could. And for that, we appreciate you. Ma, I don't know that much about cancer, but I know that we're all in this with you and we gonna get through this. Oh, my babies. I love y'all. Now, Tamika, you said you had something you wanted to share. I went to mama's doctor the other day to, you know, find out what exactly was said because I had some questions, comments, and concerns. And, of course, he couldn't share anything because of doctor-patient confidentiality. But what he did say was that mama had lumps and they were all benign. Yeah. So, Mama, what was your goal here? Did you think you were going to get some sympathy from us? Let me get this straight. You went to Mama's doctor after she told us she had cancer? Yes. You have to be the most fucked up individual I have ever met, Tamika. What? Tamika, Mama is dying. And instead of you coming together with us, you want to be a hateful bitch and embarrass her? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. This must already be hard for mama. And here you go trying to make it worse for her. Sis, who hurt you? Who hurt her? Hmm. It could be the lies she has told us about mama's ex-husband Earl coming on to her when really she was coming on to him. Now, Terry, I have let that go. I know, mama, but Tamika has put you through a lot. Tara, you're going to sit there and let this man who is married to an overweight, endangered species say that to me? Hey, my wife may be out of shape, but at least she's happy, unlike you. <laughs> when your husband is feeding you 10 to 15 meals a day and wiping your ass because you can't reach past your belly button, I'd be happy too. Really, Tamika? You are the oldest. And you need to be trying to figure out a way to make this easier for mama. But instead, you're over here arguing with Terry. What is happening right now? I believe your siblings are starting to see past your bullshit, Tamika. Now, I don't know who Banan is, but that bitch is lying. I have titty cancer. Ugh, it is an insult to people who actually have cancer. I hate that. I hate that you have to result this low for some damn sympathy, money, or whatever you're after. Prove it. Prove that you have cancer. Mama! <gasps> nice try, Mama. But you've always been bald-headed. Your hair has never been able to grow past an inch. Those naps have been there since Martin Luther King, not because of some fake-ass cancer. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mama is full of shit. And y'all know that. Well, I dropped dead. I hope it brings you the peace you need, Tamika. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Asshole. Bitch. Miserable bitch. I am so disappointed in you, Tamika. Don't come around when something does happen to mama. And don't call us for updates. We're done with you. Consider yourself an only child. Girl, just seeing him yell at them did something to me. Ma! <sighs> Ma! Oh, girl, let me call you back. So, you're really gonna let that man just come in here and talk to us like that? You just let him come in here after being gone for eight years and disrespect us like that? And you didn't even say anything? Well, he is daddy. <laughs> I mean, he's y'all's daddy. And I can't control how he's talking to y'all. I'm just glad he said he was okay with meeting Trenton. Don't nobody care about no damn Trenton. 
You better be glad I didn't tell that man y'all be playing in each other's booty. Mama, are you really about to send us to his house every weekend? Are y'all yelling at me? Wait a minute, because I've been waiting years to say this. Do I need to call y'all's daddy? <laughs> Do I need to call y'all's daddy? Do I need to call your father? <laughs> Do I need to get your daddy on the line? Okay, mama. What's up? When I get back from the store, y'all's rooms better be cleaned and I want them dishes out of my sink. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Mama, I washed dishes last time. I don't recall inquiring on the last time you've washed dishes. Yes, ma'am. Kyrie, you out of hearing or did you hear what I just said? I hear very well and your other two sons responded, which means you've been heard. You got a smart ass mouth and I know you got it from your damn daddy's side because you ain't get it from mine. Why can't you be more like your brothers? Okay, it's time to snitch. Let's start with Brian. Where were you last night? I saw you sneaking in from the back door at 4 a.m. What? Wow. Oh, I was just hoping Mama's pride and joy and Miracle Baby was going to open his mouth. You want to talk to Mama about why Planned Parenthood called here the other day? Said that you and some girl named Brianna missed your appointment? Wait, Mama, there's more. I didn't mention how one of them caught genital warts and your credit was ran for them to finance some Adidas. There's no easy way to say this, but Karen, I'm leaving you. You're leaving me and going where, Michael? Me and my ex-wife have decided to work things out. <laughs> Another bitch was gonna come back and take you from me! Don't do this to us, Michael! Oh, come on, Karen. Your disrespect towards my children, making my son go outside and cut the grass by himself, Kawhi could have helped him. Kawhi is light skin. He has oh sensitive my skin. God. Michael, I'll be a single mother. Is that what you want? Oh, you'll get through it. You have daddy's money. You'll be fine. And I'll still be involved in my children's life, just not yours. <laughs> oh. Are you trying to cry? It's not working, honey. You know what? <laughs> Forgot who the fuck I was. You know what? Go back to that hood rat. Michael, you just go back to that fucking hood rat. Okay? You'll regret every moment of this. Leaving me. For Shaniqua. Watch your mouth, Karen. I would hate to have to put you in the trailer park. <gasps> oh! Alright, Grandma. Who you got? Draco or Harry? Draco seasoned with the book bag. All right. Would you rather be rich and unknown or famous and broke? Give me the money. Okay. Last question. Android or iPhone? M Motorola. Grandma, what is what is a Motorola? Is is that your medicine? What are you doing? Just playing around with this app called Wishbone with Grandma, you literally can compare and vote on everything. Like, what do you prefer, Brian? A fleet or enema? Wait, is there a difference? Grandma, how would you feel about me getting a tattoo? I don't care, Brian, as long as it makes some sense. It will, Grandma, but you know my mama might lose her mind if I get one. Child, your mama know better than to touch y'all in front of me. Thanks, Grandma. But I do need you to go because I need somebody 18 and up with me since I'm under 18. I got you, baby. Thanks, Grandma. Oh, Savon, I cannot wait to come over here when I heard the news. Where's my great-grandbaby? Oh, Grandma, you're going to have to ask my mama where my son is. Tamika. That was real fucking cute, Savon. COVID. I don't know where the baby mama has been. I don't know who Bullshit. she's been around. I Give it up, Tamika. You're still trying to hold on to your youth, which you lost when you decided to have three boys your whole oh time God, in high grandma, school. Stop. You're a fucking grandma you now. Stop. Get over it. Pam, who the fuck do you think you are? You've had several kids and several abuela. Can you please just meet my son and his mama? Tamika, you're already an unfit mother. Don't be an unfit grandmother, too. Pam, expire already. Mama. Fine, Saban. I will meet your trash ass baby mama and her son. Mama, did you figure out when the baby and Versace can come over? Savon, leave me alone. I've been working and I've been tired. When I figure out a time and a date, you will be the first to know.
Hey, mama, I gotta talk to you about something. Brian, please, my nerves are bad right now. If you about to tell me you got somebody pregnant. No, no, no. It's not that, mama. Um, I'm gay. God, what's the issue? We got beef or something? You got, like, you gave me an unwanted grandchild, and now, how do you know? How do you know? Have you ever been with a man? Like, how do you know? How do you know, Brian? I have a boyfriend. Shit! You know what? I have an idea. Mama, how about you meet the boyfriend when you meet Versace and the baby? <laughs> Carmen, is there a reason your mother is late to my house? She said she just pulled up. Well, she is still late. Savon, you set this up. If this lady dies today, that's on you. Mama, no one is dying today. Good afternoon, Ms. Marisol. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My son spoke to you, Marikandra. It's Marisol. Whatever it is, I needed to respond to my son. Why are me and my daughter here, Tamika's son? I started all of this. We can see that. Tell me something I don't know. Yes, breathe in, breathe out, and stay alive. What I'm trying to say is, I haven't made the best decisions, and I'm sorry that I brought your daughter into this. So what are you gonna do about it? All I'm hearing is you apologizing for shit that you cannot change. It's here, it's happening. In two more months, my daughter's giving birth. What are you gonna do about it? Well, if you let him finish. Oh, he wasn't finished? Tell him to stop pausing in between sentences and get to the point. Savon, I should have been jumped over this counter. Do get to the point. I recently got a job and if this baby is mine. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like that if. Because you're making it sound like my daughter's some kind of whore. Ella nuka la hera. Ma'am, you can't expect me not to take a DNA test. Me and Carmen were never together. Mira, nosotras estamos enamorados. English. This is an American household. Well, English is not her first language. Punta. Okay. Before I mop my marble floors with her ass, Carmen, I need you to translate because I'm pretty sure she just called me a bitch. She didn't. No me entes, Carmen. Get hell of a husband. The bottom line is, if this baby is mine, I will step up and be a father. And if it's not, I want an apology from both you bitches. In English. Well, you ain't getting shit. Back off the comata shit. Mira, mira, puta. Mira, puta. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Which one of you bitches want to step around the counter? Huh? Which one? Matter of fact, hold on. Come on. Go and access my face. The passcode is your birthday. Carmen, is there a reason your mother is late to my house? She said she just pulled up. Well, she is still late. Savon, you set this up. If this lady dies today, that's on you. Mama, no one is dying today. Good afternoon, Miss Marisol. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My son spoke to you, Marikandra. It's Marisol. Whatever it is, I needed to respond to my son. Why are me and my daughter here, Tamika's son? I started all of this. We can see that. Tell me something I don't know. Yes, breathe in, breathe out, and stay alive. What I'm trying to say is... I haven't made the best decisions, and I'm sorry that I brought your daughter into this. So what are you going to do about it? All I'm hearing is you apologizing for shit that you cannot change. It's here. It's happening. In two more months, my daughter's giving birth. What are you going to do about it? Well, if you let him finish. Oh, he wasn't finished? Tell him to stop pausing in between sentences and get to the point. Savon, I should have been jumped over this counter. Do get to the point. I recently got a job, and if this baby is mine, mm -hmm. I, I don't like that if. Because you're making it sound like my daughter's some kind of whore. Ella nuka la hera. Ma'am, you can't expect me not to take a DNA test. Me and Carmen were never together. Mira, nosotras estamos enamorados. English. This is an American household. Well, English is not her first language. Punta.
Okay, before I mop my marble floors with her ass, Carmen, I need you to translate because I'm pretty sure she just called me a bitch. She didn't. Uh, no, me and Jess got him in. Get hell up a house that. The bottom line is, if this baby is mine, I will. Savon, tell mama you the one who be touching the air. Yeah, I'll be touching the air. I'm talking about the AC. The AC? Why would I touch the AC? It's too cold. You turned the heater on last night because your whole ass was cold when you got out the shower. So did I touch the AC or the heat? I'm confused. You look confused. You didn't finish high school. So I don't expect you to understand. I don't. You said I touched the air. Then you said I touched the AC. Then you said I touched the heat. You did! Are you trying to say thermostat? Yes! The thing that you touched because it got hot so you turned it off? Bitch, you're the one who turned it on in the first place! Brian LaShawn, watch your mouth! Neither one of y'all pay bills in this house. So nothing you do not pay for it should be touched. Mama, it be cold. Put some damn socks on. And I don't want to hear that shit because both y'all asses be sleeping with fans on in 30 degree weather. No wonder why y'all cold. Turn the damn fan off. Now touch my shit again and I'm breaking everybody's fingers. I don't care if you didn't touch it. Okay, and that needs to include Kyrie too. What about Kyrie? Because you be turning the AC on when it's hot. Mr. Power Bottom, what do you be doing with that Astro Glide from Walmart? Shut your ass up. You can't even spell Astro Glide. A S T R O. You are a bottom and a hoe. Baby, it got cold, so I turned the heater on. Gregory. Do you pay any bills in this house? The better question is, who are you going to sleep with tonight? Your seven inch toy or a 13 inch Greg? Y'all don't touch my shit again. I'm talking to the boys. I'm talking to the kids. Don't touch my shit again. Y'all don't pay shit in here. Why do I have a parent-teacher conference tomorrow morning, Kyrie? Because these teachers don't know how to watch their mouth. What did you do? It's always, what did Kyrie do? It's never, what did they do for Kyrie to do what he did? <laughs> you know what? When I was in school, let my mama get a phone call about me acting up. She would tear my ass up. <laughs> Shut up. No one is talking to you. It says here, Miss Jackson, Kyrie continues to be disrespectful in my class. I asked him to put his desk outside of the classroom and he refused to do so. Instead, he grabbed my desk and put it in the hallway and told me to go sit and think about the way I speak to him. I'm going to try this gentle parenting bullshit. I believe I just bought you the game God of War, correct? You did. And as soon as you're done, I'm going to go play it. No, you're not. You're going to go sit in your room. No TV, no phone, no PS5. Just white walls and silence. As for the game I just bought you, um, I believe I still have my receipt, so I will be returning it. Gentle parenting. You know what, Kyrie? Humbly speaking, you can learn a lot from me. Kendrick, arrogantly speaking, I still have both parents in my life, so I don't need shit from you. Kyrie! What is wrong with you? Apologize now! <sighs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Kendrick, I am not sorry. You know what? There goes your PS5. I'll be donating that. And now you have to figure out a way to get a new one. And don't even think about asking your grandmothers. 
Kendrick, I'm so sorry. You wanna go outside and talk? I just need a few minutes alone. When he comes back in here, you better apologize or you will never see the light of day. Mm -hmm. What happened to gentle parenting? <laughs> gentle parenting is not compatible with my sons. Y'all seem to only listen when I'm being hostile and assaultive. Mama, um, if I saw something at dad's house that made me uncomfortable, but I don't want you to go to jail, what do I do? What the fuck do you mean made you uncomfortable? Did somebody touch you, Brian? No, no, nobody touched me. Savannah, I'm about to go to the store. I need you to watch Brian and Kyrie. Tamika, I am not watching your kids. They are not my responsibility. Damn. Not only do I have a toxic mother, but an abusive one too. One that can't aim. Savon, I've been told you you can leave my house whenever you're ready. And go where? Right! So the next time you decide to tell me what you're not going to do, think about where you would go if I kicked you out of my house. I already have plans. Well, they have been delayed. You will watch my children until I get back. Then you can proceed with your plans. Okay, Tamika. Ma, did I just hear you tell Savon he had to watch me and Kyrie? You did hear that, yes. Since when do I need a babysitter? Since your fast ass had a 23-year-old grown-ass man stop by my house looking for you. He was 25. Your brother is watching you and I am done with this conversation. Can I at least have my phone back? For what? Savannah has a phone and will contact me if there's an emergency. What are we, five? No, but you are an out-of-control teenager who needs 24-hour supervision. <sighs> Mama is having Savon babysit us. Mama, you can't even control me. What makes you think Savon can't control me? I will beat his ass. Oh, second thought, Mama, leave them with me. I want to see something. Savon, don't you be in here putting your hands on my child. And Kyrie... I will turn you every way but loose. Test it if you want to. He acts like that because you don't put your hands on him enough. Well, come on, ho. Come put your hands on me. Come teach me a lesson. I don't know about a lesson, but I would definitely teach. Never mind. It is clear that I can't leave y'all's asses alone. I just wanted to go to the grocery store so that I can cook dinner. But you know what? Y'all's asses can go ahead and help yourselves to whatever's in the fridge or the pantry. Or y'all can starve. Savon, what you want to do? Mama is still here. Oh my God. Mama, um, if I saw something at dad's house that made me uncomfortable, but I don't want you to go to jail, what do I do? What the fuck do you mean made you uncomfortable? Did somebody touch you, Brian? No, no, nobody touched me. Then what the hell happened? Because I will kill your father and everything that moves in his house. Boy, open your mouth and tell me what happened. Ma, you're scaring me and I don't want to be responsible for somebody dying. Brian, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You... Gentle parenting activated. Baby, you need to tell mama what happened, okay? It's gonna be okay. You are not in any trouble, but you need to tell me what happened so I can take care of it. Okay? I saw my dad with another woman. Wait, 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 wait. 
So you saw another woman in your dad's house? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, baby. Brian. <laughs> Your daddy has cheated on me multiple times. I know y'all have seen a hundred women in my house, okay? That ain't nothing new. Your daddy is a dog, okay? And there's nothing you or me can do about it. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. But it's Karen. We don't care about Karen. Let him cheat on Karen. He ain't cheating on your mama, and that's all that matters. <laughs> my God, Brian, you had me worried. You had me thinking Karen had touched you or something. <laughs> because then I have to go see her. And then I have to beat that bitch down. No, then I have to put that bitch six feet under because she better never put her hands on my motherfucking kids. Ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just your daddy cheating on her. Boy, I don't care about that. Hmm.